Hey guys, how's it going? The Straight Bass Fishing. I'm going to have a video. It's not like I'm actually going to be out there fishing, but I will be, so don't start doubting me now. But this right here is going to be the crankbait video. To me, crankbaits are everything. They're my babies. I sleep with them. Not really. But crankbaits, they are something. This is not going to be really in depth, but I'm going to show you the crankbaits that have really worked for me for the past couple years. Like, really worked for me. And um, I think these will really win tournaments, but. Um, yeah, I've fished them all seasons. Like every season, I've caught fish and big fish. So don't think like oh, I caught the little tiny baby bass. No, I've caught fish. So I'm gonna go over the ones I really like, and I'm gonna start off with the two. And it's gonna be the KV. I use KVD a lot. You won't see anything other crankbaits besides my KVD ones. I'm probably gonna get some Spros. I have Ish Monroe and a Rick Klein crankbait, but for now, I just use a lot of KVD. So first one's the normal sexy shad. I use this clear water. Maybe a little dark in water, not too murky. This is the go-to. This is my main crankbait. I will catch fish. I remember at Lake Berryessa last year, not about two years ago? No, it was about last year. Uh, it was summer, and I was catching this. And it wasn't even a deep diver. It might have been. But the color. Let's focus on the color. Shallow water. This goes up to four feet. It's good. Uh, and then sometimes, if that one doesn't work, I'll switch to the bigger profile one. The 2.5 KVD. Sexy Shad. Works for me. Um, I've switched from here to here, and I've caught a fish. Was not catching a fish. Same spot, did catch a fish. So it really all depends. And it was a uh, good 17-inch fish. I think it was around like a good two-pounder. Um, my next type of crankbait I like to use, color schemes, as I should say, is the red. Oh, I'm so hung up right now. Okay, just got hung up. These Plano boxes are good, but sometimes you know things happen. The Ricklon. Basic crawfish scheme. Um, this basically represents when they start shedding their shells, or was it when they get it? I just know during springtime they turn bright red, and this is gonna. You just drag this. Uh, you could flutter. It's springtime, so you run this thing fast, and you will get fish. It has happened to me. And I've also used deep diver and big lakes. Um, big lakes this is gonna work. This is a 3XD KVD. This thing is. This has a rattle, so those windy days, you just fling this down there during springtime. You'll get those big fish. Pull them out from the the depths, the deep sea or lake, not really sea I do live in California, there is sea but obviously there's no bass in there besides sea bass, my next times are my next types are the grizzly grizzly gizzard shads and again they keep hanging keep getting hanged up on each other the first one is my green I like shooting this through grass uh, this is effective for me it has a little bit of red right there right there, so I like that. Makes it look like it's bleeding. I have two of these. I, I have two of these. I don't know why. I think I might have I might have thought I lost one, but I guess I didn't. And then here's my other gizzard shad. This is a more gray type. I use this for bigger lakes too as well. It's really good for rocky type of areas like um let me think of a rocky place for you guys. Uh, I can't really think of one like uh bull shoals. I don't I've never fished there. I think it's called bull shoals. Is that one in uh Missouri, I think. Oh, Arkansas. Yeah, it's Arkansas. But I know there's a lot of rocks. That's where I would fish it. That's definitely where I would fish it. And, um, I used the gizzard shad for my deep divers. Not gizzard shad, sorry. My sexy shad. I never thought about using the gizzard shad for a deep diver. I think I should buy a couple, but my sexy shad, here's one. This is a more uh, really glossy, chromey type of sexy shad. And, um, has a rattle, goes deep, 3XD, so that's good. And if I'm fishing a smaller lake or a smaller type of area on a lake and I don't want to go as deep into freaking weeds, that would work. Same thing. And uh, my other one, this is my favorite crankbait. I'll be honest with you, this is my favorite crankbait. I don't know why. I really don't know why. Actually, I do know why, and I'm going to explain to you why. Chartreuse KVD 1.0. And I know what people are thinking. You guys are like, why is he using something so tiny? What is he going to catch with this? Oh, I've caught fish. I've caught big fish with this, okay? As a matter of fact, I caught a rainbow trout on this. So, yeah, this thing is good. I mean, I'm, I'm going to get a bigger size, but it has blood right there. It looks like it's bleeding. looks like it's bleeding. Actually, this is probably representing the gills, but... And it has a nice black, and it shades right onto this bright chartreuse. And in murky water, I've never tried this in clear, clear water. I've, clear, I've used it in really darkish type of water, but in murky water, this thing is a boss, okay? All right, if you catch a rainbow trout on a crankbait, it's the best. So we'll just leave it at that. 
And my other one is the Tiger Stripe. Uh, this is good for winter fishing, any type of fishing in your murky water. So do pick up one of these. And also want to talk about the Ish Monroe Big Papa. I have it rigged up, and I don't know why I didn't bring it. It's not in my box, so. Uh, I'm just going to explain it. It is a great bait I or lure. I've just been trying it out. I bought it from Cabela's when I was up in Reno, and it's really effective. It's really slow. If you fish it slow, it's really, really subtle, and it has that nice rattle, so if it's windy, you will catch big fish. I caught two over 15 keepers, and my friend with this fishing the same way, he caught a good 7-pound bass. So, And this is Northern California, 49-degree what? water temperature this is good so I'm really liking the chartreuse this is big for me I've always caught them in cold water I don't know why they always work for cold water they work for spring and my other two go-to crankbaits are my blue go colors I live in Northern California but in some local lakes around here um, there's a lot of bluegill a lot of ponds so what I like to use is this and uh, this is a basic KVD bluegill it's great I like it you should definitely get one of these if there's a lot of bluegill where you fish. You'll see them in the water. I mean, I'm pretty sure everyone started bluegill fishing when they were a lot younger. I know I did. And uh, this is the neon bluegill color. This is a more more brighter color. And for me, like, I feel like sometimes this is dark. I'll throw it in the water and I'll be like, this is way too dark for the more darker type of waters. Like, So I would just take out one of these. And this is definitely going to do it. Nice little orange. And that's going to do the work. So I think that's going to be a good one. And then my last one is sunfish. If there's sunfish, I don't know. I really like representing baitfish. I try hard. So sunfish, definitely. And uh, that's basically my crankbaits I use now. I'll go more in depth than my other crankbaits. But for now, these crankbaits, they've caught me fish. They've made me get five limits, five keeper limits. And I've caught big fish. My biggest fish I caught was, just like I said, this one is a big fish catcher. So, yeah, I've caught my biggest fish on that. And my friend has one of my co-anglers I fish with him all the time he is like my best friend and then also this is the trout maker apparently so buy this but don't expect bass if you live in a northern state if you live in a southern state you're obviously going to get bass but yeah well that's basically a crankbait video today please subscribe I'm going to be making a lot more videos probably show you how to rip through some grass or really use this and hopefully I will get on film catching a big fish because this crankbait is a big crankbait um Sorry, she's nagged up. This crankbait gets the big fish. And this one gets trout. So, yeah. I'll probably do other fishing like catfish or trout. But thanks for watching, guys. And please subscribe.